Okay, here we go. All right, so question, guys, first film and all. But prior to becoming an actor, okay, showing your you know, acting prowess and all, you guys are artists, you're singers. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so kind of just to, uh, uh, how do you call it, summarize what my dad said at the beginning. My brother and I actually have been visiting like parang schools for the last three years, and what we do is we, we go around school to school all for free, and we talk about no drugs, no smoking, no alcohol, no bullying, um, sa mga students. And we sing a song at the same time, because my brother and I, we're, we're musicians at the same time. And that's what, that's really where this, this whole thing came about. So it was kind of through our music that we had this idea as a family to parang make make a, a, a bigger uh, noise in our in our movement of trying to get these kids to do the right thing. That's basically our message. But yeah, we've been doing music for, usually that was, that was our, our big thing before. So the, the theme song, by God's grace, we were able to, to sing that as well, which was pretty exciting for us. But yeah, we, uh, we, we have a lot of, of cool songs too. Tagalog songs written by Benny Saturno. And um, yeah, it's it's cool. That's why this is an exciting film for us because there's a lot of music in here. But in a month, it's not it's not a boring film to say the least. So yeah. You like to add to that? Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh, like my brother and I were, we're musicians. Pero we also love film as well. So this is our first film. Pero we've been uh, kind of studying and working behind the scenes with uh, film stuff. We love movies, so uh, yeah. Okay, so now you've had a taste with singing and making film, what do you guys prefer? Oh, that's a hard question, but for now probably the I, film... I asked the hard question. Yeah, yeah this is a hot seat Yeah, hot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, actually, like I said, the beautiful thing about this is we were able to incorporate both. Then you said dancing. Both, oh, dancing too, yeah. Tennis! Both. That's turning. <laughs> Both of those things um, into this project, which is really cool. So there, it's a very musically driven film, which is kind of what we're all about. Yeah, so. both. Both are very. Uh, both. That's a good answer. Or I'll answer one, and my brother will. Yeah, answer. he'll say ah. music. You can do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so right. music, so comes music. Movie. So let's hati na lang. There you go. Okay. Okay. Here's a question for you guys, and I know some of you guys are wondering this. Uh, wondering about this because maybe some of you guys don't know much about the Christian walk and the faith and the demands on a person who's following Jesus. Now, what, like, why would you stop somebody from having premarital sex, doing drugs, smoking? Why? Why not let them choose for themselves how they live their life? Like, why disrupt them, as your father said? Well, actually, I mean, people can do whatever they want. Like, no one's forcing anybody. Like, and like the film says, we're not like judging anybody on whatever lifestyle they have. They're free. To, people are free to do whatever they want, right? But we're we're just kind of like you mentioned too. We're kind of just showing through the film. There's there's another way that we can all live our lives, and it's an opportunity. If people want to choose this way or this way, it's really up to them. But we show that. Um, I mean. The, the sad truth is if you do things that um, are reckless, for instance, there, there can be really devastating consequences and we don't want anybody to experience that. And I, I know it's, it seems like at, at the time, but uh, it's, not, it's not a big deal, but when the consequences do happen, it's, it can be pretty rough and we don't want anybody to have a, a life that has a lot of consequences, a lot of hurt, a lot of brokenness. So, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, those things are inevitable, but if, we, if there's a way to limit them, the lang, then I, we, we, we believe that that's the best yeah, way to go. Yeah, but we just want to, I guess, help other people by showing them the main consequences that I got. If you do certain things, but if you do the right thing, then uh, good things will happen. So, you know, it's, we want to be a, a kaibiga to people. That's why we're... Uh, yeah, and I mean, we, we advocate these things, and no, no drinking, no, no, no drinking, no drinking, no drugs, no smoking, no bullying. And we say that, I mean, not even to brag, and we're not perfect, like, we don't ever claim to be perfect. We make a lot of mistakes as well, and that's kind of the beauty of it, because, like my brother said, as, as Kai Bigan, we kind of want to just be there for one another and, and make sure that, we're, yo, we're, we're all in this together, and we're all just trying to help each other out to, to have a good life, so, yeah. Love it. I mean, when it comes to the Christian faith, if you're not familiar with it, I mean, it's all about the word grace, and we're all familiar with that, this whole unmerited favor that's being shown to you. But it's not just that grace saves you, but grace sustains you. It's a journey with God, but that's what uh, Direct Daniel was sharing. Now, entertainment, it's a, it's a, I've been there. Believe it or not, I've been there. Anyway, so, uh, uh, 
going into this industry, there are a lot of negativity, a lot of dark situations that you can fall into as a show, as an actor. A lot of temptations. Uh, the big gig that would pay this much, but then it will compromise your faith. Uh, what would happen if somebody does provide for you the biggest role ever, but it's gonna, you know, kind of compromise your faith? What would you say about? What would you say to that kind of offer? Well, I think um, it's really important to have like a conviction and a moral standard. So, uh, no matter what uh, opportunities you get or what 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 things happen in your life, you should always. Uh, Ask God for guidance, and you should have that standard. And, uh, you don't want to cross the line, so that's that's what my brother and I uh, really try to do, and it helps because there are two of us. So even with Kaibigan, we we want to encourage people to group together to to help each other face difficult situations, and uh, yeah, that's part of the message to move as well. So uh, like you were saying, we 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 just want to make sure we have that uh, moral standard that we don't want to cross. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, uh, now correct me if I'm wrong. You're both 25 years old. I'm uh, uh, Or 22. Uh, I don't know. Screen age. Screen age. Screen age how old are you now? I'm 14. He's 15. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, no, no. What is how uh, old are you? I'm two minutes older than my brother. That's okay. the that's the key key word. Okay. 26. 20. Yeah. 26. Yeah, but I think we weren't supposed to. Yeah. That thing. Uh, I'm still 22 in my screen age, I'm just saying. But, but what if, okay, this is my final question for you guys before we call Benny up um, to talk more about the music with you. Um, what do you, I mean, there, there, that's why I'm asking your age because there's a lot of years ahead of you in the entertainment industry with film, with music, television shows, commercials, breakdancing, what have you. Uh, my question is, what kind of dent would you want to make in the entertainment business with your life? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, we just want to make cool movies, movies that will entertain people, inspire them, and people have a good time when they watch it. But at the same time, uh, hopefully when they when they look at our lives too, it's not just about okay, they, they portray this role on screen, but at the same time in their in their real in their actual lives they, they do their best and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, we never claim to be perfect, but hopefully when, when people see us, uh, they can say, Okay, these guys are good actors or whatever, but at the same time they you know, they help their community or they, um, they're they kind to people. That's that's really what we want to get across. So, and you guys, all of you, we love all of you for coming out here. So we, yeah. love, we, love, we love you guys. Yeah, so God willing, the goal is to, uh, in, chapter every, in everything you want to do, you want to entertain people, you want to inspire people and make a difference uh, in people's lives. So, yeah. Awesome, well put. And guys, guess what? You guys also have an opportunity to ask them questions. So if you have something in your minds ruminating already, please pen them down and you'll get to ask them later. Um, I'm going to call on Mr. Vinny Santorno, to please come up here, uh, join our Woo! panel. Um, you, no, please stay up. Uh, 